I'll have to try parries. This is probably going to go bad. In fact... Oh. Okay, so that's kind of helpful. Oh. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, the, the parries are kind of helping. The main problem with the parries it, that I'm seeing is you still take damage. You just take less. I hope the invisible monsters aren't insta-kill insta capable. Uh, they are. Kinda. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the greed shield is not as amazing as I, as I would like it to be. But that's fine. We'll be fine. We're getting a lot of community codexes here, so I I'm betting you get more. Like I, I think you I think you do get more community uh codexes. Oh! And the arrows will aim up a little bit. I'm just gonna let that happen for a second. We're going to piss off the worms. Okay, grab that. Hey, at least the doors aren't exploding on me anymore. I'm really digging the infantry bow here. It is, uh, it is doing a great job of, uh, of destroying my enemies. I think I'll, I'll stick, I'll stay away from the shield generally. If I see an attack incoming that I can't dodge or avoid, I'll probably try blocking. I mean, I guess it's kind of good money. But, like, you still take the damage from it. The main problem, I think, with blocking is there's so many enemies, generally. It's hard to, uh... There's multiple. Uh, there's so many enemies, the idea of parrying, like, you'd have to knock multiple enemies away or something. Ow. I should have seen that coming. Oh, interesting. When I pick two codexes, you guys vote on the same thing at, the, at once. That's kind of neat. Okay. Viewers have chosen Minotaur Scroll. What? Oh. Oh, you guys got to give me a, a thing? Ah. And I get to choose. Ah. Uh. Extra cooldown on grenades would be nice, but I, honestly, the smidge of health. Might be better. As silly as that sounds. Okay, well, I'm turning into a uh, delightfully tanky monster. Which is exactly what I needed. A little bit more health would be nice, but that that's okay. Or health... I don't know. We just have a lot of damage reduction as well, which helps a lot. Alright, we get a survival increase. We also get a balance blade. Damage to slow down target, shoots an arrow upwards. Let's grab that instead of the greed shield. Uh, it's not going to do as much damage, but I don't know about the greed, greed shield. It just doesn't seem like it's worth my time, whereas, like, balance blade is kind of reliable. Okay, well, there's nothing up here. Oh, I probably should have gone the other direction. How do we get to... How do we get to you? Other way, because, yeah, there's a shop over here. Oh, 
In retrospect, the balance blade was completely useless. It barely does damage. Uh, compared to my, my bow, bow nonsense. I do oh, baguette. Wait. Interesting. Restores a whole flask recharge. It's not worth it. Uh, but you know what? Baguette's worth it. Okay. It's to people who are asking me to play a different game, don't do that. Just don't do that. <laughs> I've seen it happen, what, three times today? And, uh, it's not gonna convince me. It never, it never does. It pretty much almost never convinces anybody. Uh, to play whatever game you want. In fact, it generally only en engenders, uh bad feeling towards the games, or towards games. I know somebody was calling me out for this, saying that I whine about uh, people demanding games from me, but like, it's such a, whoa, hi. It's such a common thing for, be for me to get like, a uh, super pushy request being like, Wander, play more scrap mechanic. Wander, play blank. Uh, and like, I don't, I don't hate these games. I wouldn't mind playing them, but demanding that I play them is just gonna make me, like, say no. Uh. Because, like, I don't... I mean, for starters, don't really like being ordered around, for obvious reasons. I know, like, you're just... Most people are just generally trying to be polite, but, like, when I get, like, a, uh, multiple people a night being like, Wander, when are you gonna play th uh, this next? Like, that's not so bad, but when it's like, Wander, play this! It's like, hmm. Hmm. Uh, so I've been having a lot of people asking me about Death's Gambit. Uh, which, I am 100% going to play Death's Gambit, but, like, there's no easy way for me to say, like, I'm going to be playing Death's Gambit and actually have people listen to that. Uh. Boo, that was risky. How do we even get up here? Uh, I don't know if I can. Oh, wait, yeah, I... Man, this infantry bow is nuts. Uh, let's see. But no, it's it's not even that, like, uh... I don't know. I don't even know how to describe half of this. And put it into words. It's just like... My business is... <laughs> if I could play every game and keep everybody happy, I would. But, like, this is my job. <laughs> Which changes things a little bit. Can I... Wait. I got the... I got the balance blade? I got the balance blade, but it doesn't wanna... Oh, come on! Why? Why not? I guess I can only hit that from one side. That's confusing. Uh... But, like, no matter how many times I tell people, like, don't demand stuff of me, I still get demand, so it's like, how do I, how do I get the message out that I'm gonna, I will be playing, uh, Death's Gambit when it comes out. But the problem is, in a lot of cases, I have to wait for a, for a, for a developer to actually release the game before I, uh, before I can even, uh, have any hope of, that was a complete blind fight. Uh, let's see, dodging plants a bomb. No, I'm gonna recycle this. The reduced projectile damage is saving saving me from an incredible amount of damage. Like, what is it? Uh, I stream every night and people don't even know that I stream every night. I mean, admittedly, I'm not, like, yelling my schedule out left and right, but, like, every once in a while I get a comment from somebody being like, Wait, you stream? Oh. I'm like, I... <laughs> Didn't realize I was hiding this one. Okay, well, let's get the uh, let's get the updated fire grenade, then burn the old one. I I like my um, I like my blade spitter just a little bit too much to get rid of it. Anyone said anything about Citadel Forge and Fire? I played that game when it first uh, came out, and I really didn't enjoy it. It was boring? It's... It's rare for me to be straight up bored in a game, but that was... That, that was one where I was straight up bored. And it sucked. 
Because I was like, oh, this actually seems like a neat idea, you know. Uh, procedurally destructible buildings, yada yada yada. Let's just let him take care of it. No, nope. well, yeah, he did. Sweet. <sighs> but yeah, so I don't know. I tried playing that game and I just I couldn't get into it. If it was multiplayer, maybe I'd be down for it. But it, uh, as far as I remember, it was totally single player. Those those invisible dudes are kind of brutal. Is that the only one? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. Yes, yeah, burn for me. I guess I can actually just drop that down there. Uh-oh. There the well valiant uh structure. Okay. Cursed chest is honestly terrifying. Wait, it, uh, Citadel is multiplayer. Huh. It wasn't multiplayer, uh, it wasn't multiplayer when I first played it. Well, peer pressure. Let's see how this works. How do, how do curses work? Okay, eliminate ten enemies. That's gonna be tough. Um, I'm gonna grab this because victims burn shots pierce the first target col colorless. It might be a bit of a mistake. Yeah, so I might uh I might see if uh Keith would be down for it at some point. We'll we'll see how it goes. Probably not going to go well, and probably not going to happen into anytime soon. I mean, that's true of almost any game. I, I guess I was kind of, sort of talking about this with early access. Oh, the fact that everybody's inv invisible is going to make this a lot harder. Because I pretty much have to go very slow. Okay, so I'm going to be cursed going into the clock tower. That's scary. Oh, please give me jump. That'd be... That'd be fun. Okay, so we've got recycling, too. Anything else? I suppose not terrible. Melee could be kind of fun. Being with groups of enemies. Let's, uh, let's start... Start putting money down into the random starter bow. I think. Okay, reforge. So, let's upgrade this one. Alright. Oh, so you still take, uh... It, uh, you st still has the plus 20% damage taken thing. Okay, shots pierce all enemies, victims burn. Arrow's stuck in the enemy, uh, comes back. Good. Okay, can't do anything about that. I guess, honestly, I've got a ton of money. Is there anything else I could reforge? Too pricey. I like the rest, but there goes all my money. Wanda really likes bows. Yeah, I do. Okay, clock tower, gotta kill ten things without dying. Let's see, wonder is the reason why VR doesn't interest you? Mainly because I don't... I, uh... Main reason why I have no interest in, um... In VR is actually just because... Oh, this is a ladder. Uh, I don't actually have, uh, space. 
I live in a one-bedroom apartment, and, uh... And... Okay. Seven. I live in a one... One-bedroom apartment. And, uh... And so, like... Uh... I'm just gonna... Sorry. Talking is going to be tough here. Okay, can't get to that one easily. Might wait until he has forgotten about- Oh, he, they can do that. Okay. Let's just fire these out. Two left. I love the clock tower's music. It's good. Very good. I'm very scared we're gonna run into something here that's going to insta-give me from a distance without giving me a choice. Okay. Okay, other direction. There's one. There's also an elite enemy up there. Which could work out in my favor. Or could screw me real bad. Shit. Okay, one kill left. Got it. No! I didn't. Fuck! It's an elite mate. No, I know. So the reason why, uh, the reason why I said it might work out for me, I had to test this. They summon those little minions. Those minions don't count against the curse penalty. I had to test that. I had to know. I had to see if it would work out. And the answer was, it didn't. Uh, but no, I'm going to stay away from Cursed Chests. They're not honestly worth the, uh, the time or the effort. I like the idea of Cursed Chests, uh, but like, it wasn't even a good thing. Like, if it was, a, if it was like an amazing uh, a drop or something, I'd be down for it. But it made it so I took... Uh, it made it so I took more damage, and... Um, well, it wasn't any better than the one I already had, so it was just like, eh. <sighs> okay, one more run, and then it's probably multiplayer time. I was gonna play other games. Well, okay, I guess I guess if this run gets uh, crushed really early on, um, then we'll we'll maybe do some. What is it? Unexplored. I think that was the other game that I was going to play. But yeah, Cursed Chests are never worth it. I mainly needed to check two things. One, I needed to see if the uh, Cursed Chest had changed at all. Answer is, hasn't. Cursed Chests are the exact same uh, as they always were. Which kind of sucks a little bit because, like, Cursed Chests would be awesome if they actually had interesting challenges. Like, okay, you know how we've been getting all those, like, weird level multiplier multipliers, modifiers? How rad would it be if the Cursed Chest permanently, not permanently, but, uh gave you one of those modifiers after the fact. I think something in the water touched my leg. Help! Well, somebody died. Okay, so we, we passed a secret. Oh yeah, there it is. 
But like it would be so much more uh it'd be so much more satisfying uh if instead of the like kill ten enemies uh you know without taking a hit uh to keep the item, if it just like put a random modifier on the uh the level instead, much much like the Twitch integration votes have been. Uh let's let's wait until we get some items, maybe. Anyway, so I won't be touching any more cursed chests. Uh, it was it was worth a shot. It was a it was worth a look, and now now that we know, we're uh we'll just stay away from it for the uh the rest of the series. It's interesting that you can push through enemies now. I actually kind of appreciate that. Used to used to kind of get body blocked by them, and I didn't I didn't quite like it. Okay. Well, this is mostly working out. I really want to try, like, a legit Grenadier run at some point. Which makes me want Grenadine, but I don't... I think we're out of, uh... I think we're completely out of, uh... Ginger Ale. We could have bought some today, but I... I don't know. I don't like buying from Target. Okay. I mean, that's a good tw Twin Daggers, too. It's better than the Rusty Sword, at the very least. Yeah, we'll bring it along. Ginger Ale is best. I actually don't really like Ginger Ale on its own, but put a little bit of Grenadine in it, and it's good stuff. Okay. I gotta take out these guys first. Okay. I think there's a uh, there's a mod that actually makes it so the uh, the double daggers swing faster. I might grab them. I know people are going to get inevitably mad at me for my choices with uh, with with the mods that I pick, um, but. I'm probably just going to get, like, ridiculously weird, broken, whatever mods instead of actually, like, caring too much about balance. I... I will admit, in life, I prefer the more ridiculous experiences than, like, been de dead for a while. I, I prefer the more ridiculous, like, crazy experiences than, like, anything, like, finely tuned or challenging. Uh... I don't know. Just always been that way. This is a very small level. Oh, oh you guys want me to go to the Promenade of the Condemned? Alright, we will do. First I need a drink, though. <laughs> Let's see, how far have I gotten in my best run? Uh, Clock Tower. Always. Well, technically, uh, what was it called? The Watcher? Whatever that weird eye beast was. I've beaten him repeatedly. But he's not exactly what I call the most interesting of foes. Let's see, did we reforge anything? <coughs> Should probably upgrade this to plus quality. Though, I honestly, I'm not sure if I like the Twin Daggers as much as I'd like to. There we go. That last run could have gone past the clock tower if it wasn't for that damn cursed chest. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's just get the 30% extra HP. That one's always worthwhile. I'm definitely... I think first, uh, first mod I get, if there's a mod, is going to be the one... What am I... Oh, it's waiting for... Waiting for this. Uh, first mod, if there's a mod for it, I'd like to get the one that makes it so the mutation guy just keeps offering you more and more mutations, like, the further you go in. I understand why that's not a, that's not a thing, but I'd like it. It'd just be kind of fun. So what shots? Follow the light. Levels plunged into darkness. Oh. Oh, it's this. I remember. <laughs> I 
I remember this mechanic. Well, this is pointless. That's something I can... Oh, right. I hit those. And I think they just provide light. Not as much as the... Not as much as the, uh, the other ones, but still. Yeah, these, these provide the most amount of light. Okay, well, we might as well go over here. If we remember it, you take, like, increased damage if it's... Damage if it's dark. I don't know. It's been a while. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Okay, so what do we got? More grenades. It'd be kind of nice to just go with, like, the infantry grenade. Maybe? A little outside of my price range right now. I'll probably have enough money by the end of this. If I remember to go back. I'm not very good at remembering to go back. I don't remember if the uh, the green ones... Whoop. I don't remember if the green ones... Uh, green ones? The, like, bluish ones. Run out. Or if they just stay lit forever. I think they do stay lit forever. You just have to light them. Oh. Spartan sandals. I don't remember the Spartan sandals being very good. Like, I'll have to take a look at the, uh, the list of, like, actually good equipment. Statue of the King. Uh, King of the Island. How could he see anything with that helmet on? He looks creepy. Okay, the blue ones do run out. Well, it's fine. This is not, like, uh, this isn't one of those games that, like, you spend a whole lot of time truly in an area. Hey! Thank you, Nate is cool for the for the sub. I actually really like that Twitch integration. I appreciate that it's there. Yeah, Spartan sandals are hilarious. I know that much. Sort of. Okay, let's grab that. And poison has no effect on you. Well, I'll take it. Ow. Oh, that's There we go. This is actually kind of annoying. So, the Twitch integration uh, is currently hiding progression. I, I kind of wish the Twitch integration would disappear for challenge rooms. <laughs> okay, uh, well we've taken a little bit of damage. I should probably heal. Oh yeah. Probably should absolutely heal. That's okay. We're good. Okay. Poison has no effect on you, or nah. We want the we want the slam. Come on and jam. Uh, let's see. The reason why. Oh right, 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 right. Recycle. Always recycle. I uh, haven't missed anything to recycle here. Wow, that was worth a bunch. Yeah, I do really like the music for this game. It's well done. I think just with all roguelikes, it's... Uh, it is repetitive enough. That I'm always going to be like, meh. Okay, damage on a bleeding target. Freezing. Nah, none of these are amazing. So go back for the grenade at the shop. Yeah, I should probably do that. Because I really want just like a, a boring grenadier run. Just huck grenades, watch things explode. We kind of started one, but we never actually like... 
We never actually, like, got it. Holy shit, you can open doors! Oh! Okay, yeah, can't do anything with that. Uh-oh. Game needs a basketball weapon now. This game needs a blitz ball. Prefer turrets. I do too, but we don't have we don't have enough of the turrets yet. Uh to really really make it worth it. Anyway, uh guess who found his uh, favorite weapon? Sup? I love the infantry bow. It is just broken. Whoop. Okay. There we go. Gotta watch out a little bit. That was, yeah, there it is. I know the blue ones run out. Uh, do we have a do we have a torch? Are we good here? Someone left a cow's head here. Whoever it was, he was a bit of an artist. He carefully traced the king's coat of arms on the animal's forehead. Ow. Okay. A faithful likeness to the king, to the glory of our illustrious ruler. Someone added something underneath. We'll skin you alive. A brave and courageous message. I do kind of wish, uh, lore areas were just automatically lit. Okay. I am also very glad bows will aim at the nearest, uh, bows will aim at the nearest enemy. I don't think that's, uh, something I, I properly kind of, okay, this is frustrating. Uh, it's not something I properly complained about, uh, ish. I complained about it, I believe, back in the, back in the day. Uh, but originally bows used to fire in one direction, one direction only. Uh, they wouldn't aim up, they wouldn't aim down, they would just aim... Uh... Aim just straight sideways. So if an enemy was too short, tough luck. Whoa, whoa! Uh, if they were flying at you from above, tough luck. If they were... If they were, uh... I mean, pretty much anything. It was... It wasn't, like, that bad. But it was, it was very definitively like, nope. It wasn't great, I guess, is all I have to say about it. But, you know, it, it's frustrating. It's like, okay, you know, here's a weapon type that I really want to use, but, like, it's just straight up isn't, uh, isn't available. For me. Hey, thank you, or the original Milk Ninja, for the sub as well. Though, I mean, you see yourself on the screen, so <laughs> I was. My words are redundant, but thank you anyway. As. Ah. 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 I shot the wrong person. Ah. I shot the sheriff, and I didn't mean to. Can't see shit in here. It's too dark. Uh oh. There it is. I'm dying a bit. This darkness is rough. I gotta remember the fact that I've got I've got tricks. I got grenades and stuff. I just automatically like go back to hit enemies, destroy them. Uh Hey, survival increased. I don't think I can get that one. Uh-oh. I guess we gotta go over this direction. Mobile chat isn't the easiest. Dude, I totally understand. Okay. Nope. Didn't work. Didn't work. Kinda worked. 
Mostly worked. Yeah, seriously. Infantry bow, I think, is my favorite weapon in the game. It is just unbeatably helpful. Okay. Okay, we're good. Doesn't look like there's anything around here. I probably shouldn't be exploring too much with this modifier on, and the fact that I'm running out of health. But we'll be done soon. Yeah, we're good. Let's get out of here. I know you guys want me to go to the ossuary, but I'm not entirely certain if I can go anywhere else. This area should be lit, too. Also, neat thing, my keyboard flashes. Oh no, we might be able to go somewhere. Uh, my keyboard actually flashes when I'm starting to run out of HP, which I think is really cool. Uh, or not HP, when I'm when I'm starting to run out of light. Like the, uh, the Razer keyboard interaction for this game is a thing. Alright, so let's get the random starting bow. And... do we save for anything? Critical hit if they have arrows stuck in their body. That actually sounds just about as good as the, uh... The bow that I currently have. Shots leave a trail of flames. Hello. Yes. Yes. Makes a toxic cloud. Hell yeah. The game controls your keyboard LCDs. That's cool. Yeah, it is. I really like that. All right. And as usual, double my ammo. Okay, blood. Oh, please don't be blood. Smoke. Oy. All of these are scary. Looks like... Bombs? Okay, I should probably pay attention to this. Blood is terrifying. I will die if it's blood. Especially because I haven't been to the ossuary in a while, and if I remember right, I suck at this place. Real bad. The answer is... Enemies drop a bomb when they die. Cherry on the cake. Alright, I'm fine with that one. Nope. Yeah, bomb I can deal with. Because, yeah, I can, I can stun lock enemies. I do enough damage. My crits are pretty good. Bombs I can avoid. Blood doesn't kill you. It just reduces your HP to a fixed percentage amount in a certain time. That's... Not great. So what kind of keyboard do you have? Razer Chroma, and it reacts to some great some games, but it's pretty limited. Uh, yeah, so I have a Razer Chroma. Whoops. Spin again is not my friend. Okay. This is a really good combo. I am I am seriously digging this. Hello. I forgot that's not a cell. I just stepped on a bomb because I'm a dumbass. Okay. Wish there were more positive modifiers. Haven't seen many. I'm really hoping modding will kind of fill in some of these gaps. Because it, it does feel like a lot of the modifiers and whatnot are, are definitely designed to be, um... It's like... They're designed to be mean to you, to force you to play better. Which, you know, I can actually... I can, I can understand that. I can get behind that. Oh! Wow. That sucked. <sighs> I think I... I got stunlocked. That was fast. 
Well, the bomb, uh, the bomb, like, tipped me, and the guy came back and, and just smacked me in the face. And it's too much to, I don't know, whatever. Effectively, I couldn't react. I'm not actually sure if I was capable of reacting, honestly.